Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Havoc and this one we're going to go through my top accessories for the ROG Ally. Let's get into it. Like a lot of people, I picked up an ROG Ally when they first came out and I spent the last couple of months going through different accessories to really narrow down what worked well for me. The first accessory we're going to talk about is a screen protector. And as you can see on here, it's kind of shiny. I have a glass screen protector. When these first came out, there weren't a lot of screen protectors that actually fit the Ally. Most of them were for the Steam Deck and they didn't cover up everything on the Ally. So like many of you, I went through the pain point of using one for the Steam Deck until these came out. You can see here on Amazon, this brand called AM Film. I use them for the screen protectors for my Switch and my tablet and really good quality. Love what they do. Prices are cheap. Like I said, it is glass and I have never had any issues with it. Um, you know, it does get fingerprints, but just wipe them off. And as you can see here, it's a three pack for the Ally and it's 10 bucks. Free shipping with Prime. This definitely should be one of the things you get for your Ally. Next up on our list of things for the ROG Ally is a case. I have another video that went over quite a few cases and you'll get an idea of why I narrowed it down to this one, my daily driver. So it is all hard sided. Nice, good texture, feels really good in the hands, has a handle, the zippers are easy to zip and unzip. When you open it, you have a good little storage area for some cables if you want to. The Ally goes right under here, and this part here is nice soft felt to protect the screen. You can see here on Amazon, this one is 20 bucks at the time of this video with free shipping. You can get a black or a white version. I got the black version just because, you know, a little cleaner for traveling. Um, it says, it's platformers Nintendo DS obviously it is not um, but yeah this is what I use it works really well there is a little bit of play in it but our next um, item up here on our list I'm going to show you removes that little bit of play and it works perfect for my everyday life the next thing on our list is a protective cover for the ally I have another video that goes over these protective covers this is the one I picked because it's easy to put on it's protective the kickstand works really well Go take a look at that video for more info. Um, but as you can see, it does have the kickstand on the back. Let's take a look at it here on Amazon. This one is 20 bucks at the time of this video. You can get free shipping with Prime. And because we're in the holiday season, they have those free returns um, up to January 31st, 2024. So like I said, this one's a really great one. Um, it's easy to put on. It's really protective. It feels good in the hands and overall, I really enjoy it. Like I said, it's my daily driver. It works really well. Literally just put the Ally in and then the case is on already. Like that, it's that simple. There's no silicone and stuff. You have to slide over everything to make it work. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access. If you're somebody who uses public Wi-Fi at hotels while traveling or at coffee shops, all of your data is transmitted across an unencrypted network. That's where PIA comes in. All of your data is hidden and protected on their private infrastructure. PIA has a no log policy, so all of your data activity is seen by you and you alone. PIA allows you to change your IP address to one of over 80 countries as well as all 50 US states. This comes in clutch for the gamers out there looking to connect to multiplayer servers in different regions or countries. Sign up to the link in the description of this video to get 83% off and four extra months for free. This deal comes out to about $2 a month. Thank you to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. The next item on our list is a micro USD card for additional storage for games, etc. So I went with this Silicon Power one terabyte there are so many different ones on Amazon you can look at getting. This was just a really good deal at the time of when I bought it, and that's what I use. I'm not going to pop it out of the slot. It's pretty straightforward of what it is, but there'll be links in the description below to where you can pick all this stuff up. The next item on our list is a good controller. This bed right here is the Moga XP Ultra by Power A. Now, I went with this one because it has multifunctionality here. The really cool thing is obviously it's an Xbox wireless controller, works natively really well with Windows 11, which is on the ROG Ally. What's also really cool about this is there's a lock down here that'll pop out and now you have kind of a little micro controller, a little mini controller. This controller works really, really well with Xbox Game Pass, which is obviously something 
really important to have on your ROG Ally. Let's take a look at this one over on Amazon. As you can see, Power A Moga XP Ultra controller. It will do not only Windows, it'll do Xbox, and it'll do Android, tablets, etc., Bluetooth. So you have a lot of different options here. It does come with another clip-on part that you can attach your phone to it if you want to do this little handheld gaming. But this one's awesome for the Ally. You can see at the time of this video, it's 68 bucks. Uh, free shipping with Prime, definitely. I mean, it's got 1,100 ratings and pretty good reviews. Definitely take a look at it. It's It feels really good in the hands. The next item on our list is a good USB-C docking station. So this guy right here is the Listen 13-in-1 dock. And your ROG Ally fits really nice in there. You have two fans, which are awesome. This is my daily driver at home. I have it on my media center. And then on the back, you can see we have multiple ports there. We'll go take a look at it on Amazon. I also have a video where I go over different docking stations for the ROG Ally. As you can see this one on Amazon, we said listen 13 in one docking station. Works really well, power delivery. You've got five USB 3.0 ports on the back, a micro SD, an SD, uh, HDMI that does 4K 60. You have USB-C power distribution. It is $60 at the time of this video. It also has a $3 coupon. You can see here on the back, we have all those ports we were just talking about. The cable is really nice. And uh, this works really well for the ROG Ally. Like I said earlier, this is my daily driver. This is what I have in the entertainment area at my house. And um, I have a different one that I use for my travel trailer or for traveling, but this one is really good. Um, especially on those gaming sessions where maybe you're going for a long time and the Ally gets a little hot come back, pop the button on to get the fans going. And it helps cool it down. If you have a docking station, you gotta have something to power it. So here I got the Anchor 150 watt USB-C charger. This thing is a tank. It's got some weight to it. And I've used this to not only power the ROG Ally, but I have Asus uh, Zephyr M16 laptop that I power via USB-C and Thunderbolt. Works perfect. You can see here on the side, we have USB 3.0 charging and then three USB-C ports. We go over here to Amazon. Time of this video, it's 72 bucks, free shipping, etc., cetera. And uh, works really well. You can, like I said, you can charge the Ally, you can charge laptops, plug something into every port. Uh, this works really well to charge the Ally, not only directly, but also through those docking stations. The next item on our list is the JSOX 180 degree USB-C adapters. These are perfect for the ROG Ally when you're in handheld mode and you need to charge it. So as you know, the ROG Ally, the USB-C plug-ins at the top, you put a cable in it, then you have this big old cable hanging out. These guys actually create a 90 degree angle for it. So that part pops in the top of the USB-C port on the Ally, and then it hangs over the back and you have the ability to plug a cable in it back there. So no more cable that's come out the top of it and now nicely plugs into the side. Let's see if they have an example here. Here you go, here's an example of what it would look like. Works great, I love it. Uh, it makes it really you know, ergonomic and it doesn't have that tug that you feel of the cable kind of bending over. Gives you a lot more options uh, for powering your device, so. And since it's USB-C, works for multiple devices. So definitely take a look at that if you're struggling with the uh, angle of the adapter for charging it. The next item on our list is a really good portable battery. Now, if you're traveling with your Ally, which most likely you will be, it goes through battery pretty quick. You might be at locations where you can't get power, such as you're on the plane and for some reason the power port at your seat doesn't work and you want to play your ally on the long cross-country flight. You're at PAX or TwitchCon in a line. You don't have access to power. That's where this guy comes in. You have full 65 watt fast charging. And as you can see with the ports here, you have a lot of options when it comes to what you want to charge. And not only the ally, if you're in line at like PAX, TwitchCon, etc., make some friends pull that bad boy out and say, you know, hey, who needs a charge? And they could plug, you know, their cable and charge their switch or whatever. It's a great way to make friends. At the time of this video, this one is $83 on Amazon. 
has a 15% off coupon. And like everything, it's free shipping with Prime. And the final accessory we have here is a storage upgrade. And as you know, when you bought your Ally, it doesn't have a ton of storage, especially when you have these large games. I mean, like Sea of Thieves, for example, is like 115 gigs or something like that. It's crazy. So your storage can fill up pretty quick, uh, depending on how many games you want to put on it. So when I went to upgrade my storage, I went with the Sabrent and I got the two terabyte version. This does take a little work to upgrade your storage. And when you do it, you'll have to reinstall Windows. I have a video coming out on how to do all of that. It's really not that difficult. But at the time of this video, this one's 200 bucks. It is really expensive for this type of storage because it's these little mini 2230 cards. And unfortunately that's what the Ally takes. So your mileage may vary of what you want, but this card has been working perfect for me on my games. There you have it. There are my 10 ROG Ally accessories that I suggest you pick up. You'll find links to everything we talked about in the description below. But before we go, I want to talk about two more quick things. When I first got the Ally, the only options we had available to upgrade your storage were those 2230 M.2 cards. Since then, we've had companies come out with these adapters that take the 2230 slots and turn them into 2280 slots. So I went ahead and picked up one of these cards for about $14, as well as one of these Western Digital 4 terabyte cards. Once I get them, I'll create a video and I'll link it up here at the top. I hope you enjoyed this video of the accessories I recommend for the ROG Ally. Let me know down in the comments what accessories you have for your ROG Ally. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep doing good.